Hi everyone, Syndra here. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. A few things I want to go over before we fight the boss that is coming up. Um, I got Madness Hero to level 2. And I wanted to show that at level 2, the damage is still 100, but it gives 90 SP. And that's only going up from here. <laughs> Madness Hero gives a ton of SP. That's what it does. So it's used to get a ton of SP, go into Dragoon form, blast away with it, and then when you go back out, be able to quickly regather SP to go back into Dragoon form. That's what Madness Hero is for. It's also really good for leveling up your uh, Dragoon levels, if Dart isn't level 5 already. And the reason for that is because, remember, it's based on how much SP you get. Madness Hero gives you a ton of it. But, for this battle coming up, I highly recommend Volcano. Especially if you have it at level 5. Um, Crush Dance is not a bad alternative either. Um, Hex Hammer's good, because it does a lot of damage. I like that. And... I want to level up Flower Storm, so we're going to stick with Flower Storm. Alright, let's go. Make sure you're ready to go. There's one more chest there. The Sound of Swords. No, somebody already started to fight against it? Let's go. Either way, we'll have to join in. Uh, inside here, I think, is like a body or mind purifier. Alright, head forward when you're ready. You can go back now. There's nobody who would think that way. Um, may I excuse myself a bit? You are the representative of the Wingleys! Come on! Are you going back to your forest to hide? I was just kidding! When I do it, I can do it! I made up my mind. Anyway, if the people of Sergio knew about this, they would all fall over. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they would. Let's do it. Hey, look who it is. Void? It's earlier than I expected. Well, it is the future king of dragons. Even with the Dragon Buster, which can kill dragons, he still gave me a hard time. He's almost dead. There's no need for you to come in. You say you're fighting against the Divine Dragon? You broke the seal of the strongest dragon of all, but you couldn't control it. It's the truth, isn't it? What are you yapping about? You can kill this man anytime. We have to defeat the divine dragon first. The sacred sister of Mile Sesu. I see, the replacement for that girl. How convenient for us. Shut up! Dragon Block Staff! <laughs> At 
attack and defense power of Divine Dragon and Dragoons reduced. But it also shattered the Dragon Block staff. Oh, so you're gonna go first to just smack everybody twice. That's cool. Not so. Going into Dragoon form in this battle is not a good idea, obviously, because attack and defense is reduced. It's just like when we fought the uh, Grand Jewel, which had the Dragon Block stat. The only way you're going to go into Dragoon form is if you change into it for one turn and then get out of it. Otherwise, you're going to be severely weakened. So, I'm not even going to do that. I am just going to swing. The Divine Dragon has three different uh, parts in to, to hit. The actual dragon part has 5,000 HP. Once you kill it, it's dead. It also has the Divine Cannon on the back, which, you know, does a ton of damage. We saw it fire and just obliterate the uh, Crystal Palace. But it only hits one target. The Divine Ball are like the massive bombardment of shots that he went that he used on the town. That's what that is. It also has 2,000 HP like the cannon. Um, it likes to spam it, and it hits everybody. For not as much as the cannon, of course, but for a good amount of damage. This should be your first target. It'll make things easier. Get rid of the uh, Dragon Ball as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, we can't collect seven of them and make a wish. Oh well. You Blossom Storm. You'll want hard hitting. I know it's not Dragon Ball, it's Divine Ball, but I wanted to make the joke anyway. Uh, speaking of, by the way... There it is, and as you can see, hits everybody for a really good amount of damage. Hey, Asha, why don't you use one of those healing breezes that we, uh, packed along for this? Good. And this is the actual Divine Dragon uh, attack. It likes to use magic attacks. Uh, they will hurt, obviously. And he'll use the powerful versions, so be prepared for that as well. We don't have anything to use, do we? Sure! Power up! Take 601. And we're going to have Hashel speed up, Albert. And we're going to try to get rid of the uh, Divine Ball as quickly as possible. There it goes again. And this is why, because every part basically gets an attack, as the Divine Dragon can attack a lot. Getting rid of the ball will help you will help you out. So well if you could turn Albert into a dragoon for one turn and uh, uh roast him. Yo, blossom storm. So one should be close. Shouldn't have that much more HP. Attack again. There we go. That should have done it. I heard the uh, enemy defeated. Good. Now they don't come back. At least I don't remember the uh, the cannon and the ball coming back. So you'll be okay there. Healing breeze. 
So next we'll take out the cannon and then we'll fight the uh, dragon himself. Come on, cannon. Ah, oh, that was way too fast. That was terrible. Blossom storm. And the power up is gone, sadly. Oh, the fire one. Just keep your health up and you sh should be okay. Because he's going to do this for the entire battle. Ow. Um. I'm going to attack the cannon. Ah! Missed the ending. Go! Volcano! Go! All right, and Albert. Ah! Too slow on that. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to heal. <laughs> Astro, why don't you use a healing breeze for me? <laughs> Now, the cannon does take a while to fire, which is good. You really want to try to get rid of it before it fires. If you can. Blossom Storm! Go! Volcano! Go again. Another powerful magic attack. Probably gonna have to have Hashel. I'd like to use Hashel more <laughs> to get in the uh, rhythm of Hexhammer, but since he's so fast, they keep having him heal. Before things go bad. Oh, what? I thought I timed that one right. Oops, I know I didn't time that one right. Thankfully, it was enough anyway. And I'm gonna have to have Dart uh, heal. <laughs> there it is again. These are all the powerful items. Not the uh, multi uses but just the one like Spectral Flash. Which is just you use it and it's a powerful all attack. That's what the Divine Dragon uses. He uses those. Yep, Dart. Healing Breeze. So hopefully you've bought a lot of healing items with you. You're going to need them. Alright, now for the Divine Dragon. There we go. Blossom Storm. Now for the toughest part, I guess, of the battle. Just because now you're just gonna get spammed by these really powerful magic attacks. That's what's going to happen. I am going to have Hashel use the healing fog to heal himself. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 
Done. Good, good. All right. Every time, it's <laughs> it's the hardest addition to me for Albert. So every time, I feel good about it. Now he also has single target attacks, like so. And you honestly want to see those more than the powerful all attacks because they won't do as much as as the powerful all attacks that the uh, divine dragon can do. Go. This is why you want your most powerful technique because you're not worried about SP. You're probably not changing into a dragoon. Unless you treat the fight exactly like the one versus the Grand Jewel. But even then, we were way more worried about uh, damage than SP. Boy, you're, you're doing this now that I use the fog, which is annoying. <laughs> and I don't have another healing fog to give to... Uh, to Albert, so... We'll just have to use a healing freeze. But now the battle's much more in your favor. You're just trying to... trying to get through it now. No, the uh, Divine Dragon does not have any other tricks. This is it. Now you've seen everything. Um, if you don't get rid of the cannon fast enough, he will use the cannon and completely blast somebody for a ton of damage. Ah. Too bad. Yes. Go. Volcano. That's why I choose volcano, just because it's easier to do, and you still get the 250 percent damage. So I think that's the one to go with with dart. Oh man. Just off now on that. Yes. Tell you. Go. Volcano. And it'll be Divine Dragon's turn. This is probably the attack you want to see the most. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Yes, it does hit everybody, but the damage is low. There we go. Blossom Storm. That's it. Honestly, the toughest part of the fight is the beginning. Until you start getting rid of its additional attacks, basically. Volcano! I really wish I had more to say, but I don't. The boss fight, you've seen it now. <laughs> I didn't get to show off the cannon, which is a shame, but it just does a ton of damage. Bye! The universal sign that a boss fight is finished when Dart goes up and slices.
That is... Yes. This is the Dragoon Spirit. So, yeah, it's a Dragoon Spirit. You get 10,000 EXP. You also get Flash Hall and Gravity Grabber, which I think are strong, uh, which are powerful attack items. Alright, level up. Level up for Miru, Miranda, and Albert is 65 EXP for leveling. That's a shame. This is the soul of the Divine Dragon. The flame of a soul that sparks only at the last moment of a dragon's life. Its crystal is the Dragoon Spirit. As I expected, it doesn't sparkle in my hands. Lloyd, that was your purpose, wasn't it? This is just a little prize for me. A prize? I don't need additional power to destroy the world. The Divine Dragon was a mere obstacle to my ideal. I fought against it for that reason only. You're the one who formed the conspiracy to destroy the world! The King of Sergio. What brought you all the way here? Is it the frustration of having your mood taken? Or your feelings towards your loyal friend, Lavis. Don't even mention that name. It's too early yet to settle things. Wait! Don't be so hasty. I'll see you soon. That's cheating. Where's he going? He's leaving the mountain. Chase him! And chase him, we shall, we shall. Yes, we're gonna have to go back through the mountain. Now, I would just cut this, but he, uh, Lloyd's gonna pop up and basically talk smack, so. <laughs> we'll just get through this, uh, pretty quickly. So? Storm! Ah, I should put Madness Hero back on them to level it up. Go! Volcano! Black Mist. Oh, good, it didn't work. Ah, counterattack. That's a shame. <laughs> And a level up for Albert. Now the sad thing is Albert is not going to learn any more additions. So, speaking of Madness Hero, because uh, Flower or Blossom Storm is his last one. I kind of wish that each character had seven, just some, just for even more variety in the attacks. I think it'd be really neat. But, uh, I am going to try to grab this, though, since I have item space. Okay, it is a total vanishing. I never get to show it off, so why not show it off now? Now is the time. Uh, total vanishing. Eliminates a minor enemy. Bye. Just like that. <laughs> but it only works on minor enemies, so... But at least I got to show it off. Because <laughs> I keep throwing them away or selling them or... You know, other stuff. Because they're not that useful. Alright, more Madness Hero. 
As you can see, 90. <laughs> That's a level 2. Sorry, baby dragons. You gotta go catch Lloyd. Just like the way he says it. Confused! There we go. Easy enough. Okay, I think it's here. Lloyd pops back up. Maybe it's when I actually walk into this place. Somewhere around here, I remember Lloyd popping back up. There he is. Lloyd! Oh! I didn't know he was one of the Winglies. Rose? Rose! Come on! Can you tell me who I am? Will, we took this world back together. I won't let them ruin it. Virage Embryo. The moon with black power. Black power? You're talking about the black monster? Stay here. Take care of Dart. Your father is a strong person. You have that strength in you. So, you can wait here by yourself, okay? Where are you going? I'm going back to the village to fight. Really? I will protect your hometown with your father. Live strong. Dad? This is my 
my dad's important shiny stone. Mom. Dad. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. Vester said, What really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all and the moon child who blesses the world? Rose, what do you know about this? Dart! Rose! Finally, I found you guys! Oh boy, Rose! She passed out! Move away! I'll carry Rose first! Beat! It's my fault letting him go. I apologize for it. Not your fault, Rose. Nobody knew he was a wingly who can use magic. Don't worry. We'll find out where he went. I agree. Lloyd's objectives are still the Divine Moon objects. Miranda, there's no need for you to hide it. Tell us about the Divine Moon object in Millie Cecil. It's not like you, Miranda. Don't hesitate. I guess there's no choice but to tell everything. The Divine Moon objects are said to be brought by Wingleys. And it's said that they have a dreadful magic power concealed within. That is the reason why they were never allowed to be taken outside. A national treasure that has been kept a close secret. It's called the Moon Mirror. The successive thrones have been the keys to opening the seal. Oh, it cannot be! Queen Theresa is in danger! Alright, and then it clicks. So, next we are going to head back to Millie Sesu. But I'm going to end this episode here. I'll just make some of the journey off screen because there'll be more, uh, more talking that happens a little later. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun with the boss fight and again some more flashback stuff. Until the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.